guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we have another battle of the sponges. Today we have two very affordable sponges going against each other. This is the Total Face Sponge by e.l.f. and this is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. The e.l.f. sponge retails for $5 and the Real Techniques sponge retails for $6. $5 if you buy a pack of two like this one because you pay 10 for two. So technically the same price. Okay, so it says that it's a latex-free multi-sided sculpting sponge that has angled sides for highlighting and rounded sides for flawless blending. For flawless blending, the precision point is perfect for concealing imperfections, works with liquid and powder. Now let's open them up. Okay, so this is a beautiful color, by the way. This right here, oh, it already feels weird. Oh, I don't like how that feels. But it looks exactly like the Real Techniques sponge, taking out a brand new one. They look the exact same. That's crazy. I don't know if it's focusing, but the pores on this sponge look crazy big opposed to this one it looks really soft and you can barely see any pores on it nonetheless this could be amazing technically they're both at the same price point so i am so amazed at how similar these are even the size there is no difference in size except for texture that is the only difference i'm finding right now so i'm gonna go get these damp and i'll be right back this is so squishy i don't know this one's so weird <laughs> it doesn't feel normal. It doesn't feel like a normal beauty sponge. Because normally beauty sponges, yes, they're super squishy, but they have a little tug to them. It feels like it has no substance on the inside. A lot of the dye from the e.l.f. one was coming out as I was wringing it out. As always, we're gonna split my face down the middle. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. sponge on this side of my face and the Real Technique sponge on this side of my face. I'm briefly gonna touch on why I love this one because I already know I love it. Going in with the flat side, that is my newest favorite thing to do. What I love about this one is that it gets the job done super quick. It blends the product really well and it gives me my desired coverage. As of now, with half of my face done with the Real Techniques sponge, you can clearly see the amount of coverage I just got and I never have to worry about anything looking patchy with the Real Techniques beauty sponge. Now let's move on to the interesting part of this video with the e.l.f. beauty sponge. I am running out of this foundation. By the way, this is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection foundation again I'm gonna go in with the flat side like I mentioned before they have the exact same design flat on one side rounded all throughout and pointy at the end I'm gonna do the same thing I did with my other sponge I'm gonna pick it all up that soaked up all that product whoa <gasps> whoa what is happening That's putting all the product back on my face. No, I am actually shocked. You guys saw that, right? I am actually so surprised. I can't even believe that just happened. First of all, that blended out even faster than my Real Techniques sponge. It gave me the same amount of coverage, if not more. Literally, I have nothing left on the back of my hand. It literally soaked it all up and I was like, oh no, my product is gone forever. Look at that. I am pleasantly surprised i did not see this outcome literally shocked i can't even i don't even know what just happened i i need to know how long it took me to blend it all into my skin that was so fast that was way too quick whoa that was faster than this one i feel like i got even more product distribution because it didn't soak it all up as I thought it would. It's like a slight difference in coverage, but I feel like I got more coverage with the e.l.f. sponge. Oh my god! I am- I can't- I can't. I am so excited right now. I just found another little treasure at the drugstore. I can't. I can't. Okay. I need to calm down. <sighs> is it just me or is it getting hot in here? Okay, so now let's go in with concealer. Again, I'm gonna do my Real Techniques side first. Beautiful, perfect, smooth. 
what else can I say? Now with the e.l.f. one, this is just so much bigger. It feels a little bit more uncomfortable for under the eye. But, oh my goodness. Stunning, literally no time. Okay, now I'm gonna test out the powder. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. sponge. Real techniques. You guys, I have nothing else to say. I think my reaction said everything. There is no clear winner here. These are both winners. They're both the same price. They're both the same shape, different textures. But I mean, if you wanna get your makeup done in 2.5 seconds, this is the sponge for you. I did the rest of my face off camera and I can't even tell a slight difference on my foundation or any of the base products that I have on right now. I thought, you guys, I legit thought this was gonna be a complete fail. So the only decisions that are left for you to make is which color do you want and which brand do you want it from. I hope this battle of the sponges was helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow.